Welcome, in front of me is a Xiaomi Mi 11 Lite and today I'll show you how to go through the setup process of the phone. And when you boot it up for the first time, you will be presented with well, this screen over here. So let's start off by tapping on an arrow right at the bottom and selecting our desired language from the list. Next page we have a selection for our region. Now for me it's selecting it correctly, so I'm gonna stick with this one and then go to the next page where we can choose our keyboard. Now, honestly, there's only one key, well, not keyboard, but one option here uh, for the majority of us, which is just gonna be the Gboard. A normal keyboard well uh, we also have the option for the talkback braille keyboard so i assume that's probably uh, not for everybody so let's go to the next page and in here we have uh well the most uh, pleasant thing throughout the setup which is terms and conditions nothing greets me better than terms of service that i need to agree to before i can use the device that i paid for so let's select that we have read and agreed to them and then we can go further and here the device automatically starts looking for the sim card if it doesn't find it you can either try to scan it once more or just completely uh, forget about it and go to the next page uh, the moment you insert your sim card the sim card should work as intended uh, either it will give you the ver pin verification for it to be unlocked or it will automatically start working so this page right here is a little bit redundant the next page we have Wi-Fi connection, networks, so again we can connect to network or we can skip this if you don't want to or we don't have a network near us that we can connect to and by skipping it we will not use, lose the ability to uh, sign into our Google account throughout the uh, setup process and also date and time usually is not set correctly so you'll need to probably fix that yourself. At the moment uh, you connect to Wi-Fi, which you can do after the setup is complete through settings, you will also be able to connect to your Google account if you want to. So I'm gonna skip this for now and let's see, next page we have Google services. So we have things like location scanning and sending user and diagnostic and data. You can tap on the arrow right over here to expand it and read exactly what it will do and if you don't like it, simply disable it. Same goes for the sending user and diagnostic data don't want to disable it and then I accept it at the bottom and here we have option to set up a fingerprint or a screen lock uh, or both so if you want one of those you can do that I'm only gonna set up a pattern right here so I'm gonna go with only screen lock and choose pattern from here now does give us this annoying five second message that you need to remember passwords uh, like no no duh so here um, we're just gonna draw the pattern that we wish to use then redraw the same pattern once more and this will confirm it once we tap on an arrow there we go and here we have some additional settings now some of them look to be uh, or repeating for instance like a location uh, and some of them are just flat out the most annoying thing you have ever seen like the personalized ads the most intrusive obnoxious little uh, option right here uh, now what is uh, what I'm talking about is this one right over here and what it does is personalize that based on your uh, interest which uh, it's a little bit gently put uh, the device spies on you and basically constantly looks for what you're searching for and then gives you ads based on your interests of and search and what you say so yeah no thanks I don't want something like that so I'm gonna disable it and as you can also see it, it that's the only option that gives you a pop-up. Uh, are you sure you want to disable it? Um, no other option will give you that pop-up as you can see. So um, from here, once you probably disable the personalized ads because they're just uh, intrusive, uh, you can progress further and select your default launcher. Now, launcher is in a little bit of an overstatement. It's just uh, the difference between do you want a up drawer or not? Because as you can see the classic look is just a typical uh, what I would call almost an Apple like look with all your apps that you have downloaded smack in the middle of your home screen and no app drawer and app drawer obviously just has limited or so only couple apps on the home screen and the rest of them can be found in your app drawer which you just pull out so select which one you want go to the next page and tap on an arrow once more and this will basically finish up the setup
And there we go, as you can see now the setup is complete. So if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe and thanks for watching.